Why is it IndyCar the next thing? Why did you choose? Why was that something that you had to do? That was my dream as a kid. And growing up in, in El Cajon, that, that was the mecca for motocross, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. Um, it's now moved a few hours north up Interstate 15. Uh, but that is, that, that's just, that's where motocross started and really grew. So to transition to four-wheeled racing, it was easy to look at off-road trucks and buggies. That was kind of a, a safer uh, version of racing motorcycles. So that, that was that next step. Um, but to be recognized and spotted by Chevrolet in those desert environments and in the stadium racing, um, you know, they really held the cards of where my career was going to go. And the fact that they were discontinuing their involvement in IndyCar in the late 90s and NASCAR was the only option, the head of the Chevrolet race shop said, hey, if you want a future in motorsports, you need to move to North Carolina. A week later, I bought a one-way ticket in April of 97. I, I showed up in Charlotte with a gear bag looking for a place to live. So, you know, that, that was just the way, it, the way it happened. But in that whole journey, my eyes were on IndyCar. And the West Coast is so IndyCar focused. And, and uh, I had Robbie Gordon ahead of me, Rick Mears, Roger Mears, all these off-road racers that went to IndyCar. So back to your question, that was that's what I always wanted to be, like when I was dreaming as a kid. And now I've created a situation where I can go do that. And I almost feel like if I pass up this experience that I have access to, I will kick myself down the road and I'll kick myself more for not taking this experience than I will kick myself if I go out there and don't perform as I hope that I can. So I've been kind of wrestling that over the last year. It's like, man, you get one chance to walk this earth and I'm all about experiences and I, I better take advantage of this experience that I can create. How do you find the happy medium of you've excelled at everything you've done, you know, more than most. Do you worry about what if I'm not what I think I can be in this sport? Yeah, totally. I mean, again, it's fuel. That's uh, back to some of the other conversations we've had. That's the fuel. Um, I'm trying really hard to stay competitive with myself and not worry about uh, timing and scoring and where I might qualify, where I might finish. Although of course I care and of course I'm going to have an eye on it. But again, I'm, I'm going to have to test myself and all the things that I just shared on here of how I've <laughs> and, you know, fought off this pressure through the peak of my career. And I'm, I'm reinventing myself right now and really falling back on those core kind of ethics again and in my own headspace. And that's what I have to work through all year and you know, from 21 and 22 in IndyCar.